Hello and a warm welcome to you all. I'm Chris Payton, Chief Investment Officer with Latrobe Financial. In our July update, I'll be providing you with a brief overview of our business, touching upon Brookfield's recent acquisition of the Latrobe Financial Group, the Latrobe Financial Difference, and an update on ESG. And in some further good news for investors, I will talk you through further increases to our crediting rates, which will be effective from the 1st of August. Now that's a lot to get through in a relatively short period of time, so let's get right into it. We'll start with a corporate update. Latrobe Financial is one of Australia's leading asset class specialists. We commenced our operations in 1952 and now manage over $14 billion in assets under management with over 400 staff and offices in Melbourne, Sydney, Hong Kong and Shanghai. Our business operates through two distinct but complementary segments. Our asset management business, spearheaded by our circa $8 billion credit fund, and our real estate credit finance business, which delivers one of the broadest mortgage product suites in the market. Both engines have been built from the bottom up over time with discipline to withstand and perform through all cycles of the economy, an experience that our 80,000 investors in the credit funds know all too well. More recently, you may have heard that Latrobe Financial has been acquired by Brookfield. The strategic rationale of this transaction is to continue the growth profile of Latrobe Financial with the support of another strong, well-capitalised and highly respected investment partner. Brookfield are a leading global alternative asset manager with approximately US $690 billion in assets under management across real estate, infrastructure, renewable power, private equity and credit. Brookfield owns and operates long-life assets and businesses, many of which form the backbone of the global economy. We're excited for the transaction and our partnership with the Brookfield team. Importantly, there has been no change to our day-to-day -day operations, credit processes or investment strategy as a result of the transaction. With the transaction completed, we look forward to a period of continued growth and opportunity for the business across each of its key segments. What sets Latrobe Financial apart is our diversity of funding. We are unrivaled in our market with deep and proven funding spanning some of the world's largest banks and financial institutions, debt capital markets, while also operating a fully scaled credit fund. This gives us unparalleled diversity and cross-cyclical strength to perform and to capitalise on growth and portfolio opportunities beyond those that our peers can pursue. And that's to the benefit of all of our investors. There has been for many years a very welcome focus on corporations contributing to society more broadly. While we've always been very mission focused at Latrobe Financial, these broader considerations, now generally summarised as ESG, have always been fundamental to our approach to business. Let me preface this conversation by stating that we are not an impact fund or an ESG fund. What we are is a group that takes our role very seriously and can demonstrate ESG credentials at both the corporate level and also within our portfolios. At a corporate level, we have reached carbon neutral status. We are aware of our social license intrinsic in the trust our investors and borrowers place in us and have donated over $21 million across projects to provide social good through the Latrobe Financial Charitable Foundation. We continue our focus on the highest risk management framework and have made considerable investment into our cybersecurity capabilities. At a portfolio level, we monitor for impacts of natural disaster, habitability, and a range of positive and negative screening factors, which will ultimately allow us to develop green assets. We continue to look for niche products to serve underserved borrowers, noting the business was founded on what would today be termed a social loan. Finally, through enhancements to our data reporting framework, we will be able to deliver transparent monthly look through into the fund's ESG credentials, allowing advisors and investors to make decisions with the best available information. Turning now to our credit fund, and let's take an initial look at our seven product offerings. We have multiple tailwinds driving our performance and boosting our distribution rates. We have reinvested excess cash reserves with liquidity levels back towards long-term targets. In other words, we are now back to being fully invested. We have normalised our credit asset appetite, which sees portfolios tilt towards their more income generative norms. And finally, market interest rates are increasing and increasing quite quickly at that. Each of these in isolation would move the needle in our income profile, 
Combined, they are real and meaningful tailwinds which have allowed us to increase our crediting rates to the rates on screen now. Fueled by the tailwinds we touched on a few moments ago, we look forward to bringing you more good news in the periods ahead. Given that the global and domestic economy and markets are experiencing a period of volatility, it's timely that we drill down into our portfolios a little deeper. The remarkable performance of the 12 month term account and other fund products since inception is outlined in the chart on screen now. This performance takes the requirement to time the market off the table and is part of the reason advisors and investors alike make a strategic allocation across our products. We have long talked about the importance of diversification investing. This relates to investors selecting the right range of products and our asset class of property credit can be used in a diversified portfolio holding by investors. For Latrobe Financial, we have long spoken about the importance of diversification in the construction of our own portfolios. And those portfolios have been built with discipline over time. The careful selection of granular asset exposures, diversified across sector, loan size, borrower type and security location. This level of diversification is rare in our sector. It can be overlooked when times are good, but really protects and insulates investors during times of market stress and volatility. In our case, we have maintained flawless liquidity right across our history in relation to our portfolio accounts, with no investor in any of those accounts ever having suffered a loss of capital since inception. Of course, when constructing our portfolios, we have a keen focus on maintaining our disciplines with the aim of protecting investors against periods of economic or property market downturn. And perhaps the best insulator for our investors, particularly during periods of property depreciation, is high quality, diversified borrowers with conservative loan to valuation ratios. You can see on screen our average borrower credit quality aligns closely with that of the borrowers from the big four banks. Additionally, the maximum loan to value ratios for each of our portfolio accounts are set at conservative levels. The average in our 12 month term account, for example, is sitting at less than 65%, providing significant downside protection for investors in our portfolio accounts. Thank you for taking the time to hear our business, ESG and portfolio update. If you have any queries, our team are happy to discuss on 1800 818 818.